Hello, and welcome to the virtual product display at Schenck Process. I'm Jonathan Thorne, the Director of Process Technology, and today I'll be discussing advanced conveying techniques. I'm here at our main test facility in Kansas City, Missouri, which is part of our head office for Schenck in the Americas. And I hope to provide explanation in conjunction with demonstration of our unique conveying technologies. For those of you less familiar with pneumatic conveying, I will give a brief overview of the technology. Then we will discuss our continuous dense phase technology called Infinity. Pneumatic conveying is the transport of dry materials through pipelines using air or some other gas as the motive force for transportation. There are two primary modes of transport, dilute phase and dense phase flow. In dense phase, the air velocity is greatly reduced so that the material is purposely not entrained by the air and instead settles on the bottom of the pipe until a pile of material is formed, referred to as a slug. Air is forced through the material and moving the slug becoming the vehicle for conveying the product at low velocities. For air to pass through the slug, the material must have a reasonable porosity and therefore there are better and worse dense phase candidates. Consistently sized granular and pelleted materials form slugs naturally when exposed to the right air velocity and are therefore considered ideal dense phase materials. As we said earlier, dense phase flow is a naturally occurring phenomenon when suitable materials are exposed to the correct air velocity. Continuous dense phase uses a rotary airlock to introduce the material, which adds a degree of complexity in terms of air control. Rotary airlocks experience leakage, which is air that does not go down the pipe as convey gas and thus changes the velocity of the system. This was also present in dilute phase. However, the higher pressures in dense phase cause the leakage to play a significant role. In a continuous dense phase system, we have to actively manage the delivered air volume if we want to control the air velocity going down the pipe itself. Air management is accomplished through a control valve called the Macturi. As an adjustable Venturi device, air control is performed in a predictable and efficient manner. The needed volume of airflow to satisfy the convey and leakage requirements are continuously calculated and the Macturi is modulated to provide that air. Pressure and temperature transmitters around the Macturi provide critical system data and ensure the accuracy of the calculations. A separate control loop drives the supply of the air to the system. Affinity uses a dedicated air source tied to the air management system, whether it be a 15 PSI blower or a higher pressure pump. Typical compressed air is compressed to 100 PSI and then regulated down to the convey pressure of say 20 PSI to operate the system. Affinity would generate 23 or 24 PSI to accomplish the same task. This ensures the pressure and flow are sufficient to drive the system, but that the compression is as efficient as possible. Here we see the conveying of extruded pet food, probably the most common product handled. When the system first starts, the Macturi position and blower speed are lower. As the conveying starts and pressures rise, additional air is required and the system responds, keeping the convey velocity constant. The result of a well-controlled continuous system is stable dense phase flow. Here we see plastic pellets being conveyed. The product travels at slower speeds compared to dilute phase, but additionally the material inside the slug is protected from interacting with the pipe wall as it travels. In this way, the degradation is minimized for pneumatic transport. Affinity is an innovative and efficient technology for creating a dense phase conveying system. The pneumatic conveying systems discussed here today represent technology only found at Schenck Process. For more information, please visit us at the link below. From the team here at Shank, thank you.